I tell people all the time, real food is the way to go. You don't want to be going around here eating this fast food because it ain't no good for you. But there's one place that's real slick about that. We know the McDonald's are bad. We know the Wendy's are bad, even though they kind of act like they're better. But the one who gets through the cracks a lot is Subway because they like to say eat fresh. And then we had that one guy, Jared, talking about how much weight he lost. But then we also have that one guy, Jared, now in the jail cell. He ain't no good. Let's look at the chicken. Because you would think chicken is the healthy way to go. So they did a test on Subway's chicken. Let's look at the oven roasted chicken patty. They say it was 53.6% chicken. And then they did the sweet onion chicken teriyaki. Now, how many of y'all eat that? I know. It's a whole bunch of y'all. I know I used to eat the heck out of sweet onion chicken teriyaki. Then you put the sweet onion chicken teriyaki sauce on it. And I kept eating it, kept eating it, kept eating it, kept eating it. Then I realized, wait a minute, this stuff, this stuff tastes funny. Because I stopped going there for a while. It didn't taste right. They say the sweet onion chicken teriyaki strip is 42.8% chicken. They say the rest is made of soy. And this makes so much sense because it doesn't taste like chicken. It tastes like something else. And it's too chewy. As a matter of fact, they need to call that hint of chicken, which is some stray bull crap. If you say it's a chicken teriyaki sandwich, then doggone it, I want chicken, real chicken. Not half a chicken, 42% and some soy. Or if it is soy, tell the people that soy is in it. I want to see 42.8% chicken on the menu. People not really making the choices here. It's not fair. Let's see here. They did the same test on Wendy's grilled chicken, which is 88.5% chicken, while McDonald's grilled country chicken is 84.9% chicken. You say, well, it's better than Subway. Does, is that what you're saying? Heck no. They ain't no good either. You want real 100% chicken. Here go Wendy's. Uh, as a whole muscle chicken breast filet, we not reform and reconstruction. In addition, we only use 100% Canadian chickens. Okay. And then McDonald's say they use 100% seasoned chicken. Yeah, and you could listen to those guys. But their food is on record not healthy. Do you think they really care about your health? No, they don't. They just care about that dollar. Just look at the price of the food. It's so cheap. Something has to be wrong with the ingredients for it to be that cheap. That's just common sense. So then we're going to go over here. Subway fires back at absolutely false allegations that their chicken is fake. Subway says study that shows their chicken is only half meat is 100% wrong. So what, what you saying then? Accusations made by the CBC marketplace about the content of our chicken is absolutely false and misleading. Our chicken is 100% white meat with seasonings marinated and delivered to our stores as a finished cooked product, a spokesperson said. So the people that really want to go to Subway are going to be like, oh great, I can continue to eat my sweet onion chicken teriyaki strips with no guilt. Yeah, you just want to be in La La Land. You can't trust Subway. Let me tell you how I know. Subway are the same people that had that shoe rubber in the bread. What? I know. I know that's what you're saying. Shoe rubber chemical removed from Subway bread found in nearly 500 common foods. So they had the same shoe rubber and yoga mat rubber in the bread. They got caught and then they took it out. But just imagine how long they had that stuff in there and people was digesting that. That same shoe rubbers and things like this. Pillsbury eating that dang shoe rubber. Getting cancer. White Castle frozen cheeseburgers. I know you're seeing that in the frozen food aisle. Marie Callender's flaky croissant with ham and Swiss. And shoe rubber. Intamin's raspberry danish. Forget this crap. Arnold's bakery. Look, you can't even eat bread without eating some messed up stuff. You wonder why people be getting sick? You wonder why people be getting cancer? Because they eating these weird chemicals. Many chicken sandwiches. Fiber one, it's supposed to be healthy. Sun-made cinnamon swirl. Oh, no, I remember this. I remember I used to eat these. White bread. I just don't eat white bread at all. It goes straight to your stomach. They say, Hormel Country Crock Home Style Stuffing. Do y'all eat this stuff? Sarah Lee white bread. Y'all better be careful. Smucker's Uncrustable Peanut Butter Grape. 
Ah, oh, see, see, I knew something was up with this. Be careful out there. This stuff ain't no good. Better make your own peanut butter jelly sandwich. You can use some whole wheat bread or something. These people don't care about you. Stanky old Subway. Uh, we use real chicken. We really care about your health. If you really cared about our health, well, if y'all really cared, you wouldn't have put shoe rubber in the bread in the first place. Why does my sandwich taste like a yoga mat? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Well, you say they took it out of the bread. Yeah, but the pickle's still raggedy. The onions ain't right. That lettuce is too loose. Ain't even good enough. Jokers want to come over here and try to tell me how good they low quality sandwiches are. No! I know better than that. And, you know, just to be fair, let's just say that the other percentage was the seasonings and marinades or whatever that they put in there. Still doesn't change the fact that their food is low quality and you can make better stuff at home. Red, silver, J, all I gotta say.